Hey Sagittarius, welcome to the second part of your reading, which is going to be your advice reading, okay? We're going to see if there's anything else your angels guides want you to know and if they have any advice for you. Before I start though, um, what's really crazy is like I have this ginormous candle, okay? Look at this candle. It's like so big that it's like with the heat, it's like cracking, okay? It's huge. Now, during your reading, it went out and it's done. The wig is gone. This candle has been burning for like eternity. <laughs> okay? This this candle has been burning like through all of my readings since I started YouTube. Since and with your reading Sagittarius today, it was the last and final time that it burned and it burned out. So, that's fitting, right? Considering in your first reading it was about a relationship that ended and um, for you, there's like no going back, right? So the fire in that relationship, I feel like for you has burned out for eternity. Like there's no going back to that relationship for you, right? And it could have been a relationship that you felt like might at some point like might be burning for eternity, but now the candle is out and it's staying out. There's no going back to it. So that was a weird little confirmation there with that candle, right? And the other thing that I'm getting right now is like, at the beginning when I bought this candle, it was beautiful, right? It was like big, it was like tall like this and such a beautiful candle. And now after all this time, like, look at this. <laughs> it's like, it's like cracked, it's broken, it's ugly, it's like got dirt in it from all the smoke. Like, it's just, it's turned into an ugly candle, right? But I was just using it because I was like practical about it, right? It's, a candle's a candle, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, but this one went through a lot. So maybe your relationship to this person, this is like symbolism, okay? This is symbolic for what some what you might have thought at the beginning okay and the final product the, what you ended up with here at the end which is like there's no repairing this right it's just this is what we got so i feel like there's symbolism in that here for you sagittarius okay so let's see <laughs> holy angel tell me what else does sagittarius need to know and do you have any advice for sagittarius at this time let's see The King of Cups. So I don't know if this is who you're dealing with, okay? I mean, a King of Cups did show up in your other reading, but I read it as being more like you in your, um, you honoring your own emotions, okay? You growing to um, do what makes you feel emotionally balanced, okay? But now there is a King of Cups appearing back again, so we'll see. We have the Three of Cups. Ten of Swords in Reverse and the Five of Swords. Okay, so I don't know if this Three of Cups, if this is uh, your friends, okay, it's a group, um, soul family, okay, maybe it's a party, we'll have to see what that is. Um, but it seems like you avoided some sort of betrayal here with the Ten of Swords in Reverse, okay, or you said some sort of betrayal, it's like the last time, okay, I'm not doing this again. And this is someone, uh, this is leaving someone around you feeling um, almost like slighted, okay? Their energy gives me kind of like slighted. Like with your first reading, I was getting this energy as well of someone being like, it's not over until I say it's over, okay? I'm the one that breaks up, not you. So this could be the kind of person that like, you know, when you dump them, they run around and tell everybody that they dumped you just so that they don't stand there looking stupid, okay? Yeah. Let's see, tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is that here for Sagittarius? Five of Swords in reverse, the devil in reverse. Oh yeah, you freed yourself. You freed yourself. <laughs> From And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like with this Five of Swords in reverse, this is you saying like, I'm gonna, I'm putting down my weapons. Like, I just don't feel like fighting with you anymore. Something might feel old. Like, um, uh, it's like a, 
a merry-go-round. This kind of energy gives me this, um, it's giving me a little bit of like a, an abuse cycle, okay? It's like you stay with someone that hurts you, then you break up, then you make up, um, then this person does it again, then uh, you fight again, you break up again, you go back, but it's, it's like, um, I feel like you're dealing with someone that never really takes accountability for what they do. They never really apologize. You might have just been someone that um, you let a lot of things slide, maybe because of history or because you've been together for so long or um, because you love them. But there, I feel like you didn't really get the same respect back. And I feel like something happened where you just said, like, I just... I just don't want this anymore. It just doesn't feel good anymore, okay? And you might be at that point where you're not gonna do the the, the fighting to make up again. Just to, the disc, like the constant arguing just to make up again. I feel like with the five swords in reverse, you're over it. So this person might be reaching out to you, trying to talk to you, trying to fight with you, trying to point the finger at you. And that might have worked in the past where you kind of let yourself get worked up. Um, you you did the like the the match back and forth, right? The ping pong match. Um, but I feel like this time you're just kind of over it. You just don't feel like fighting with this person anymore. It just, you might have, I feel like you reached a sense of like closure, okay? That you might have not had in the past. Like something all, like always felt open it's like this is the kind of energy what you're giving me is like um okay so during your reading i've already had two disruptions then when i sat down my candle started going black 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 so you might be feeling like this person won't leave you alone okay this can be a cleaner okay somebody that like you're trying to just have some peace. You're trying to have like no contact and they're just blowing up your phone, like trying to call you, distracting you, trying to get an emotional response out of you. But I feel like you're you're trying to detach. You're trying to like, you don't want to fight. You just want to be left alone and somebody won't leave you alone. So now you've got this Knight of Cups energy here, which could be back to this abuse cycle of somebody now trying to be all nice right so when the abuser um when you finally walk away from an abuser what they'll end up doing is then like crawling on their hands and knees and begging for forgiveness right then they'll start with the crocodile tears and the, i'm so sorry i promise i'll change and um please don't leave me and it and it they they become like the clingy okay like the velcro like they just want to on you and they don't want you to like they don't want you to be get able to get away so they'll start with the begging with the calling with the crying with the pleading okay but i feel like this is a cycle that you've just been in over and over and over again and so especially when it gets to this point okay with the knight of cups energy where someone will then beg plead and cry and say i'm gonna change i promise i'm gonna change i feel like that's when most um abuse victims kind of say okay fine because you're waiting for that change right but the thing is it's like it's just what someone is doing so that they won't lose you and i feel like you get to that you got to that point where you realize like no matter how many times this person um you've taken them back it's just it never changes. They never change. It's just something that they say that they're going to do, but it never happens, right? Um, so that's, that's the kind of relationship dynamic I'm getting here. That with, in your last reading, there was, it was the moon also that came out with the clock, which kind of gave me that feeling that that was something that you, oh, right. What I was going to say before that distraction, right? Is that you could have already been in the kind of a, um, the contemplation where even during the last three fights, you were saying to yourself, okay, if we fight one more time like this, I'm going to leave. Um, so you're already kind of like pre-planning the breakup, right? You're already like coming to terms with it in some way. Okay. So I feel like you might've already been kind of detaching emotionally for some time 
and then something happened in this relationship where you were like okay now i'm done like i gave you another chance it happened again and now there's no second chances but i feel like this person is not respecting this um decision of yours and they're they're running after you still so tell me about the ten of swords reverse yeah the nine of swords the high priestess the four of swords and the eight of pentacles so with this, I'm getting this person saying, I want to work on it, right? Can we please work on this? Can we please work on this? Like, I feel like you don't want to be betrayed again, though. You don't want to be hurt again. You don't want to go through this again. I feel like you're kind of at the end of your rope. And this is um, worrying this person. Like, this person is stressed out. They're freaking out. They might be saying everything that they think you want to hear. Everything that might have worked in the past. But I feel like your intuition is also telling you like it's something's not gonna work. Like your intuition might be telling you that it's it's time to put it to rest. Like it's just um, you've been trying to make it work for so long and it never does. Okay. So what's the five of swords? The sun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're starting to see the things for what they really are here, Eight of Cups, and that's why you're walking away because you've emotionally detached already from this and you're like, it's not worth it to me to keep fighting for this. Like, what are we fighting for at this point with the Eight of Pentacles? It's like, what are we fighting for at this point? Okay, because it's just a cycle here. It's just not, it's not clicking. It feels like... Um, more of like a trauma bond in my this is my opinion anyways i mean just from the energy that i'm picking up it feels like kind of more of a trauma bond right now so why is the five of swords here the queen of wands and the two of swords <clears throat> yeah this is i feel like this person's energy who you're dealing with this person is in denial they refuse to see the truth they refuse to accept your decision um, they also want to like change your mind. Okay. I feel like this person is very persistent. Um, they feel like if they can just keep, keep it going that eventually you'll, um, like crack under their pressure. Okay. They just, they don't want to, they're not accepting it. They're not accepting your decision at all. So why is this three of cups here? The Knight of Wands, oh, the Three of Swords in reverse. Um, yeah, you are moving towards healing here. I, I kind of feel like you're, you're taking a step to say, I'm not gonna let you break my heart again, okay? It's just been enough damage. I'm just, uh, I just, or the realization that this relationship is causing more pain than it is causing, like bringing in healing for you, right? It's just this relationship is what's making you feel unhealed. It's what's hurting you. It's it's not bringing you any value to your life. If anything, it's bringing you pain. And I feel like you just don't want to uh, don't want to deal with that. I mean, this three of cups can even be like your friends if you have friends. Uh, when your friends group tells you like you need to you know you need to leave him or you need to leave her like you know this person's not good for you um they're trying to be supportive okay so you might be kind of waking up also to what your friends are saying realizing that your friends might be telling you the truth here they're just trying to be supportive they don't want to see you go through this pain anymore Anything else I need to know about this? Yeah, Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, the, so I feel like the Three of Cups is like your soul family, okay? It can be your support system, your friends. There's definitely people around you telling you to leave this person, is what I feel. They're telling you that you should move on from this person and, and, and maybe find happiness somewhere else with the Ten of Cups because they might even be telling you that you deserve the Ten of Cups, which is true. You deserve to feel 
um, ultimate bliss, ultimate happiness, someone that is um, bringing you something to your life, right? They are um, adding on to your happiness and you're, you're going to get that 10 of cups. Um, in your first reading, it was all about you in the nine of cups, right? You um, being single and alone, but that's not how you want to stay, right? You do want to have a family. I feel like you do want to have kids. You want that happy family. You really want that, but you also might be realizing you're not going to have it with this person, okay? There's just no way because this person is bringing you pain and, and, and like, um, this trauma, right? Instead of bringing you this happy family is what you actually want. So you might be realizing that you need to walk away from this person, um, and leave this behind because you're, what you're looking for, you're not going to get with, with this relationship. Now, I don't know if you're this King of Cups or if this is the person you're dealing with, okay? Yeah. So tell me about the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you might have felt like this person just abandoned you, okay? Or neglects you emotionally, okay? Um... It's kind of person that you know you might tell them how you feel you t you you tell them how they hurt you and they just you always feel alone with this person you always feel like they don't care about how you feel okay um you might feel abandoned neglected misunderstood and i feel like you're over it you don't want to feel that way anymore in a relationship being with someone that's either hurting you or making you feel alone okay ten of pentacles yeah, because I feel like you know what you want. You want the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You want a happy family. You want stability, but I feel like you also want support, okay? You want to feel like you're in a relationship where someone supports you, where you grow together, where you um, support each other, grow together, right? And you're not getting that here. So what's this Nine of Swords? Tower. The Six of Wands. Who is in this energy, though? Who is this in this energy here? Nine of Wands, uh, Nine of Swords. Five of Cups, Nine of Cups. I feel like this is the person you're attached to. I feel like that's their energy here with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Um, they're having an emotional breakdown right now. Because I feel like they can't reach you the way that they used to. It's make, it's, this is triggering, um, like a deep, um, abandonment wound in them. This breakup is triggering, it, or this, um, yeah, you walking away from them is triggering an extreme emotional reaction in this person. Like, it's an extreme emotional reaction right now. This person is um, all over the place, very stressed out, very upset, not thinking clearly. It's For them, it's like, um, yeah, they're kind of having like a, a mental breakdown right now. They're not dealing with this in a healthy way, but that kind of reflects back to also like what kind of a relationship dynamic this was because the way that they're dealing with something here is not healthy at all because they're in denial. Someone's not accepting your decision. They're having a mental breakdown and they're almost expecting you to stay with them because of their mental state, right? It's because they feel sad and stressed out and anxiety and they have this deep wound it's like they're expecting you to stay with them because they don't want to accept the decision they don't want to have to deal with this kind of like uh this kind of um, these kind of emotions right so they might be expecting you to like heal them and take care of them or like uh calm them down you know give them reassurance and stuff but it's just not your job it's not your job to take care of um, to, to take care of this person's mental state at this time. This is something that they need to look at and heal, but I don't know if this person can. I feel like there's something... Um, yeah. 
this is not your responsibility, okay? It's really not. I feel like this person is having an extremely emotional reaction right now and they're gonna take it right to your doorstep, right to your doorstep, because it's almost giving me like, they want you to see how they're doing. They want you to see that they're upset and that they're sad and that they're freaking out because they're hoping that when you see that, uh, you're gonna feel sorry for them, right? They're hoping that when they come to you and they're like having an emotional breakdown, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry that, you know, I can see you're hurting so much and you're having this breakdown. Now I know that you love me or something. It's like, it's very distorted, very unhealthy, very distorted. They want you to take them back based on an emotional reaction and that's not healthy at all, at all. Yeah, this is how they think that they're gonna be having um, maybe they can get you back or something is by like not leaving you alone and um, having, like I said, this, this, like taking it straight to your doorstep because they want you to see how they're doing, right? I don't know, in some way they think that this is gonna prove something to you. Like, I'm so hurt that you're leaving me, like, this is how much I love you. They're, it's emotional manipulation. It's heavy, heavy. They're going for the emotional manipulation card, okay? They're hoping that you stay with them because they manipulate your emotions into staying with them, okay? It has nothing to do with your needs, your wants, any of that. So tell me about the Four of Swords. Temperance, yeah. Yeah, you need a, um, with this Four of Swords and Temperance, I really feel like your guides are telling you to just keep it cool, okay? Just stay as zen as possible, okay? Um, keep to yourself, don't react, keep your thoughts to yourself, ignore this person as much as you can like it's even if it might be painful you know you you might feel bad for them you might feel sorry for them but they're trying to get a reaction out of you okay you might already but you might already even know this with the high priestess like you might you might also just know that this is a game that this person plays okay this is like their gameplay this is what they do every single time. It's like always the same thing. So maybe that's why you're trying to keep it like, keep it cool and just not react right now. Keep it zen, keep it balanced, okay? Yeah, this person is make it, trying to make it really hard for you to move on, okay? They want you to feel guilty with the Ten of Wands. It's like they want you to feel really bad for moving on. They want to make you feel guilty. Like they're gonna they're gonna do a lot to make you feel like, um, you know, feel guilty, feel bad. How can you leave me? That kind of thing. It's like, I mean, isn't that sad that someone doesn't want you to stay with them because of them as a person? They want you to stay because you feel guilty for not being with them or guilty for leaving them behind when they're having a meltdown. It's like, that's not, that's not healthy, okay, at all. Tell me about the Five of Swords here. Page of Cups, yeah, there they come here. This, bringing it straight to your doorstep, okay? It's like the, you know, and then after they're done having the meltdown and the crying fit and the, you know, the breakdown and the angry words, then they're gonna come back and say, I'm so sorry, like, please take me back. I'm so sorry, can we please talk? I'm so sorry. It's like, ooh, clingy, 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 Velcro energy, right? Ooh, yeah, this one's a tough one. This one's a tough one. This is one that is very tough to shake loose, okay? The lovers, yeah, they really don't want you. They wanna be in a relationship with you. They might even try to sleep with you, okay? They're gonna try everything they can to get you back around. Tell me about the two of swords. Yeah, they're, they're not seeing it. They're in denial, they're in complete denial. They think that if they just keep denying that it's over, that eventually 
it'll just uh, go away. I don't know. They're very confused. Um, they're delusional. Very delusional. Very delusional. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, but you, it's, this is the time for you to step out of this. I think you know that, though. I think you know that. Like, yeah, do not work together with this person here. Three of Pentacles reverse. Don't work together with this person. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. The chaser felt just fell down in reverse. This This is this is a stage 10 clinger, okay? You really need to um stay calm. I feel like it has a lot to do with like don't react to this person, okay? Just try to keep it moving, okay? Don't let them trigger you. Let's see, what is um what is this nine of swords? Yeah, their heart with the key in reverse. Yeah, they're they're very stressed out that you're not um, opening your heart to them. Getting together is in reverse. Meeting the one, welcoming love is in reverse. They're upset that they cannot um, get near you or that you won't let them in again or. Yeah, it's about love for them. But I don't know. I feel like this person here that you're dealing with, like, this doesn't have much to do with love. I mean, not from their end anyways. I feel like a lot of has to do with, like, trauma bonding for them. They might be somebody that doesn't really know how to be alone. They don't like being alone. They like to latch on to other people. It makes them feel safe. I don't know if they you're gonna know if this feels like love to you if this is love it was love or if it is um what exactly this kind of a dynamic is okay what's the tower yeah be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal so I don't know if you found something out, okay? You might have found something out. Something came to light. This was the tower moment, okay? This was the, the, the moment that changed everything, okay? There was no going back after this. What's the Ten of Swords reverse? The snake, yeah, okay. Competition, enemy, clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman so you see this person as being a snake you see this person as someone that you can't trust um you're not going to let yourself get betrayed by this person again this per you feel abandoned by this person and whatever they're putting on here this is a show they're putting on a big show it's it feels draining like this person's energy is very emotionally draining, okay? What's the Four of Swords? Yeah, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, you might be um, replaying things over in your head or they are, either they are or you are, but I feel like you might also be just replaying events like the past fights, okay? Every time you guys fought, everything you've been through together, it's just like playing on repeat in your mind. You're, you might be starting to pick up on the patterns, okay? This happened then, this happened then, this time, like, you might just be starting to see that everything is just too much, okay? It just keeps, the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again. It's the same cassette that goes in the VHS player over and over and over again. It just is outdated. Like something is just, it feels like played out. Yeah, something feels played out, okay? Especially something with attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. You might be wondering like, is that the only thing that's holding me here at this point? Is it the attraction? Okay, am I only attracted to this person? Is that why I keep dealing with them? Okay, if I put a paper bag over this person's head, do I like their personality? Is that, am I staying with this person for their personality or am I staying because of the attraction or the, you know, because I know their face so well, okay? So what's the five of swords? Yeah, yeah. 
the same two cards from your last reading come out. The self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. That's this right here. This is the love bombing, right? I'm so sorry. Please take me back. You know I love you, okay? This is the one-sided relationship, the lovers, okay? Trying to get in your bed with you. And this is the self-absorbed narcissist here, five of swords. Only thinking about themselves, trying to win at all costs, selfish, right? Don't care who they have to step on. Don't care if they have what, what they have to do, what they have to lie about just to get you back. It's just not today because you're avoiding them, avoiding a conversation called person. So they're just... They're just plotting, scheming, planning how to get back in your energy. What can they do to, to stop you from avoiding them, okay? You're ignoring their calls and they're like, well, how about I blow up this person's phone, beg them to take me back, apologize to them. What if I try and sleep with them, okay? What if I invite them on a date? Maybe then they'll take me back. It's like, oh God. Like with this kind of a person, you might have to like change your number, okay? You might actually have to like just change your number so that you get some peace. coffee cup in reverse yeah because you don't want to meet up with them you don't want to meet up with them you don't you don't want to meet up with them you don't want to talk to them you're uh rejecting them so what is this delusion here two of swords and seven of cups yeah someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want a date in reverse yeah this person is completely delusional and in denial that you don't want to date them that you don't want to be with them they would they're, they're refusing to see it they don't want to see it they're just not accepting this at all okay tell me angels what advice do we have for sagittarius regarding this person what should a sagittarius do because this is uh like, it's even given me the ick. I gotta be honest. Like, this person's energy is even given me the, like, making me want to change my number, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. What the heck? Okay, tell me, what's the, what should Sagittarius do? The Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the King of Swords. I feel like it's a warning about them coming back saying they want to work on something with you. Or when they come back and say they want to work on something with you because they're so delusional, right? They're so delusional here. You might have to really say, you might really have to say something to this person. Like, I don't know, maybe you need to speak your truth, okay? Maybe you need to, you know, play hardball, okay? And just say it straight to their face. Let's see. Maybe you've always been kind of someone to kind of avoid saying what you think. Nine of Pentacles. You need to be very, very clear that you want to be single. You need to be very clear, I feel like, to this person. So I don't know. Five of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords comes out. I feel like... You got the King of Swords here and the Queen of Swords here. I feel like your advice is that you really need to speak your truth, okay? You really need to speak your truth. You really need to say what you think and you need to stand by what you say, okay? But say it like, just keep it straight. And the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, this is not, this is not communication with your heart, okay? It's kind of giving me like, keep the emotions out of it, okay? Don't feel guilty, don't feel bad. Don't try and sit and think and like, well, I don't really wanna hurt their feelings. I don't wanna say something that's gonna hurt their feelings, no. Keep the feelings out of it, okay? It doesn't matter. You need to say what you think, you need to say what you think and believe and um, you need to just be upfront about something. Like just, uh, even you might even have to get cold hearted, okay? Get a little cold. You might have to just say it how it is, right? And not with the feelings, not with the, you know, I know I really don't want to hurt you, but I just don't really want this. No, you need to be straight up, cold, serve it on a plate really cold and say, you know what, leave me alone. It's over. I don't want to be with you anymore. Back off. They're not going to get it any other way. You might be beaten around the bush a little bit with this person is almost what I feel. 
Maybe you're not used to speaking like this in the King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. Maybe you're not used to really like just being direct and saying, you know what, you need to leave me the fuck alone. I, it's over. I don't want to be with you. You might not be used to being so like cold to this person, but it's like your guides are saying like that's what they need to hear though. Because if you're beating around the bush too much and saying like, Oh, you know, I really, I don't want, you know, I love you. You know, I care about you, but it's just not going to work out. That's all this person is hearing is, is they said they love me. They said they care about me. I still have a chance. So you might have to just, you know, cut out. Don't say that stuff. <laughs> like if you're trying to get rid of someone, don't, don't be speaking like that to them. Okay. Don't, because they're not, they're not speaking your language. Okay. They're not speaking that language. They're not reading between the lines. You might be, it's some, I don't know. There's something about you needing to be more direct in a message. You might have to send them a message and be straight up, straight to the point with no chaser, okay? Shot with no chaser. You might have to really like speak on it this time, okay? Queen of Pentacles, this could be you, okay? Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Four of Cups. Yeah, you really you need to reject them, okay? Page of Swords. You might... With the, with the Sun, you might be kind of beating around the bush when it comes to rejecting this person, okay? But what it's doing is it's, leave, it's giving them the feeling that they have a foot in the door, okay? So you might have to really send them a message and reject them. Even if you feel like it's mean, okay, but you're not going to get rid of them any other way. You need to be straight up. You need to stand on what you feel and what you think and not, um, you need to stand more in your power, okay? And don't, don't let yourself get small in front of this person. There's something they need to hear that you're, that you might not be saying, okay? Yeah, my crown chakra is tingly. There might be something that you don't want to you don't want to be so mean. You don't want to like say it so direct, but this person needs to hear it that way. Yeah, it comes out in reverse. Again, the chaser in reverse. It came out twice this way. If you want this person to stop chasing you, you're going to have to speak up and you're going to have to leave your heart out of it. And you're going to have to start being really direct. Okay. Straight to the point. No chaser. Leave the feelings out of it. Leave the, I love you. I care about you. You know that I, you know, don't want to hurt you. Leave that shit out of it. Straight to the point. Stop. Leave me alone. It's over. Don't talk to me anymore. I don't want to have anything to do with you. You're stalking me. It needs to stop. Straight. Straight direction. Okay? Uh, straight communication. Direct communication. Because I feel like there's something about your communication that might be giving this, this, this person the feeling that they might still have a chance. And that's like... Um, exasperating the problem okay so that was just the advice okay take it how it resonates for you um that's just what I intuitively feel is what might be needing to be done okay it did come out here king of swords queen of swords which is like just speak on something here that you just want to be single and it's there's no it, it's not it's not happening okay and something about just speaking the straight up truth and not trying to, you know, something about don't, don't tell yourself like, well, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings. Like this person needs to hear it direct or they're not going to get it. Okay. So let's see, who are you dealing with here? Sagittarius, a gang member, a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah. The King of Cups did keep coming out. So maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. Okay, a child, something in August, okay. Something with September, something could have happened in August and September of last fall here. This could be a witch, or someone is. They're an accomplice of a witch. A hacker and a sociopath. Yeah, this person might be a little bit, you know, there's maybe an informant here. A lover. Like I the only look at this. The only card that came out was Pisces. Now I'm only getting these other cards. So you could be dealing, you could be a Sagittarius dealing with a Pisces, okay? Because that, that's like the only card that came out here. March. 
This person could be born in March, okay? So this might be a very specific reading here for a Sagittarius dealing with a Pisces born in March, okay? So I'm gonna leave it at that. Sagittarius, I hope that it helped. I hope I could um, give you some answers, some clarity, okay, to your situation. Um, thanks for watching, okay? Take care of yourselves. You got this, okay? You totally got this. You're gonna be fine. And um, yeah, then I'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye.